uh, the second screenplay, the second place screenplay, is one of the most courageous screenplays I've ever read. Uh, it, just taking on the subject that it attempts was an act of great courage, but that this young person pulled it off with such sophistication and grace and power is a real testament to pure talent. Um, I was extremely moved when I read it. It's, um, and, and God knows it's timely. It's about a, a, a young man who is so moved and so disturbed by the climate of violence, the epidemic of murder in Philadelphia, which I understand has become quite a problem, that he decides he's going to do something personally about it and literally puts his life on the line to try to stop this epidemic of violence. <clears throat> it's a beautiful screenplay. It's beautifully done, exquisitely executed on a subject that would, I think, would defy the efforts of most mainstream Hollywood screenwriters. And this is what I mean when I say young people have to challenge Hollywood to renew its birthright for sensitivity and courage and cutting edge issues. And this screenplay is a perfect example of that. And I'm looking forward to meeting this person. Um, for the screenplay between midnight and morning, Robert Golfin. Hello, how's it going? I'll pretend I'm getting the Oscar, but I won't be that long. Um, I've got two friends here tonight, well three, Lori Childress, Michael Panicelli, Robert Mendelson. Uh, thank you guys for supporting me every step of the way, everybody at Greater Philadelphia Filmmakers, and the film office, Joan, Joan, Sharon, Peter, uh, Chris, Nicole, Dina, another Nicole, I think I'm forgetting somebody, but Aaron, that's right, Aaron, and uh, everyone else, and of course, the hilarious Stephen Revell. So thank you very much, I'm very honored. I just have to jump in for a second and say that we met Robert when he was still in high school, he was a film office intern.